My name is Anders Artsite and I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing here at Hegel Music Systems in Oslo, Norway. Today we're going to talk about our new little baby that we're launching now and starts to ship in February. And that is our first ever phono stage, the V10. For many years our dealers and customers and distributors and press, thank you Doug, worldwide has asked us to make a phono stage. And we've always said no because you know, several reasons. There is, there are many good phono stages out there, um, and we didn't think it was really our thing to do a phono stage. But eventually, we started to cave in. One of the reasons was quite practical: that our our um, uh, digital and and software team were uh, were quite tied down by some other projects. Um, and it, it, it just made for the perfect time to make a totally analog product like a phono stage. In the beginning, we wanted to make something that was fairly simple. Um, we had a, you know, a basic design from years ago that our founder Bent made, I think maybe 15 years ago, of a basic standard phono stage. And we thought, let's work on that. But then, then you get sucked into the rabbit hole. Uh, and uh, you know, one thing led to the other, and it became more and more advanced. It became better and better, and um, eventually we ended up with what we're launching now, and that we're calling the V10. So let's take the V10 out of the box and look at it. When you first unpack it, it comes with a nice little hood on it. And we take it off like so, and here is the beautiful new Hegel V10. It's half size, so it's smaller than our integrated amplifiers. Uh, it's also less tall, it's about a little under an inch less tall than our classic half size DAC products. And that makes a slimmer, nicer, smoother design, I think. If you look on the back, you have the connections. There are fully balanced uh, outputs. There are high quality uh, RCA outputs. There is an MM input and there's an MC input. One thing special for the V10 is that you should not connect the MC and the MM input at the same time. So it's not that suitable for two tone arms, just so you know that, because the uh, gain stage of MC feeds into the gain stage of MM and therefore you cannot connect two at the same time. One thing we're very proud of is this little grounding screw that is designed by my colleague Tron who thought grounding screws did not look good enough so he made his own. So it's custom made for Hegel. Um, in addition to that there is a dip switch panel or mouse piano as I heard the Swedish call it. Uh, I haven't heard that before. Uh, this will be preset from the factory to standard MM setting um, with two quick easy flips of the switches you can set it to a standard you know basic MC setting and uh, then there are various settings for uh, for impedance for capacitance for subsonic filters for uh, various gains you can add 5 10 or 12 DB gain and so forth for that purpose, we have also made a beautiful website. Um, Andreas made this. Uh, it's called support.hegel.com uh, slash v10. Uh, and here you can see all the various settings. Uh, so whatever you want to set it at, uh, as MM or MC, all the various subsonic, well, there's only two subsonic filters. Uh, the gain settings, the capacitance settings, and so on. You can find it all there and it's very easy to use and it's a mirror of the back panel on the V10. So that's that. Another vital part of the V10 is the power supply. Now, one of our goals during the design of the V10 was to try and make 
the style of design and some of the, the, the cores of, of how you design mm -hmm. a two and a half, three thousand or two thousand euro or dollar phono stage for far less money. Um, there are some differences. There's, there's a reason why there are a lot of phono stages up to you know, around a thousand euros or a thousand dollars and then there's a little bit of a gap and then they start again at two and a half thousand, three thousand and upwards. Endlessly upwards, I like that. Um, and, and, and that is that is the core design. When, when you look at the big ones, they're discrete, they have very well shielded power supplies and so on. We, we wanted to make that kind of design for a lower price. That also included custom designing um, power supply. It's an AC, it's not a DC, it's an AC power supply that is custom designed for the V10. Uh, it's external which makes it even more low noise. It's easier to shield the power supply section inside um, uh, the phono stage. Um, and what many people have commented on is, it doesn't look very good, does it? Mm -hmm. No, it's plastic, it's simple, it's all that. But that is one of those reasons why this is, you know, 14, 1500 euros and dollars and not two and a half thousand. It's not the only one. I'm not claiming that the casing is, you know, going to be a thousand euros, but it is one of those reasons why this is maybe 1395 euro or 1495 US dollars on the market and not two and a half. But it is very good. It's custom designed specifically for the V10. So we're quite proud of this too. Um, then the connection of the power is underneath. So you lay uh, the V10 on its head and you connect the power supplies underneath here. So let's open it. And I have been cheating a little bit, as all the chefs on TV say. Um, and this is the inside of the V10. I'm sure you will be able to find pictures of it on online that are more accurate than this, uh, because it's not that easy to see uh, on a movie like this. But this up front here is the power supply section. It looks like it is completely dual mono. It actually isn't. And the reason for that is by sharing uh, the transformer or having a trans common transformer with two separate windings further reduces noise, actually. That's something I learned during this process. I did not know that. Um, the other thing you'll see here is this big, just black, Piece. That is a wide shielding, about two inches wide, uh, with steel on both sides, shielding the power supply from the gain section inside. In the gain section here, um, you'll see that, well, you might not see it, but there is uh, one gain stage using FET transistors for the MC stage, and then that feeds into a new gain stage on the MM inputs that also uses carefully hand-matched FET transistors. And these FET transistors are very good. Um, Bent, who is the lead designer of this project and most other projects um, at Hegel, used to be a transistor designer uh, when he worked at Tanberg in the old days. Um, so these transistors are very carefully picked and then they're matched in perfect pairs. One specific thing about FET transistors is that they work very much like tubes, like the concept of how they operate are very much the same as a tube. There is no vacuum inside, but apart from that, the concept is the same. Uh, they are usually used for low power devices, and that's very suitable for, for this. Um, and the other thing is that then they have the same uh, distortion characteristics as a tube, which is interesting. They only have the second and the third harmonic. Another benefit of using FETs is that they do not give any DC feedback to the pickup. So it's a more stable design. These two gain stages then feeds into a bipolar uh, op-amp um, gain stage. That is the main gain stage for the output of the, um, of the V10. So that is an almost fully discrete um, gain stage of this V10. Uh, there are also some more hidden settings in here that your dealer can help you with. If you want to uh, 
there are some other extra gain settings. There are a couple of capacitance, uh, no uh, impedance settings for, for MC pickups and so on inside here. Uh, we do not want you to open this yourself because there is always the risk of doing something wrong and, uh, and uh, you can turn the wrong dial inside and then it will not end well. Uh, so we want your dealer to help you with that if you, if you need it. But most of the basic settings you will ever need is on the back panel. Um, so uh, the sound. I've been listening to this quite a lot. I'm not the main listener at Hegel. No, I'm not the main designer at Hegel, sorry. Uh, I am the listener uh, and I'm the PR guy and the sales guy and, and so on. What really astounds me with this V10 is the resolution. I've compared it to a lot of uh, phono stages. I, I will not mention any names because that's meaningless. It's not what I'm after. What I've experienced is an incredible sense of resolution, a natural kind of sounds that, that just fits with, with what Hegel has always been about, which is a fluid, natural, smooth sound that is dynamic. There is space, there is rhythm, it boogies. And then there's that grand sound stage with detail and, and everything. Um, if you have more questions, you know, join our forum on Facebook. We have a Hegel music system group that is very dynamic with a lot of members, around 4,000 um, as, I, as I say this. Um, and uh, go to our website, hegel.com. Um, there is a support page and uh, Google it or go to your dealer and listen for it when this COVID thing is finally over. Thank you very much.